Dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Shubhi Kemtube, and uh, this is an online chemistry tutorial. You get my previous videos from my personal homepage or from my YouTube channel. And uh, we are discussing the topic molecular rearrangement and transformation from the part reagent and transformation in our can chemistry. And today we are going to discuss intention of rearrangement and uh, coming to the molecular rearrangement is a rearrangement reactions are uh, interesting class of reaction wherein a group or an atom migration take place during the course of reaction there are two types of rearrangement that is intermolecular and intramolecular intermolecular means the migration of group is first detached and later reattached at another site and in intermolecular the group that migrate is not completely detached from the system in which rearrangement is taking place and there are many types of rearrangement for example rearrangement that can take place to electron deficient carbon or rearrangement can take place to electron deficient nitrogen or to electron rich oxygen so we were discussing uh, in, in previous lecture also uh, rearrangement to electron deficient carbon we already discussed wagner meyerian rearrangements uh, so second uh, rearrangement it is catawase tension of rearrangement tension of a russian chemist uh, and uh, he discovered this rearrangement and what is tension of rearrangement we say carbocation rearrangement of primary amine that is this is primary amine and uh, via disodization we have we are using nitrous acid for uh, disodization and it finally it gives alcohol through carbon carbon migration and in, in this reaction and you get two types of product and here the ring enlargement of amino methyl cycloalkane this is amino methyl cycloalkane and uh, upon treatment with the nitrous acid it gives cycloalkanol right and tension of a reaction of a cyclic primary amine with the nitrous acid and it form a carbocation is generated by treating with the nitrous acid and uh, this rearrangement best applied for five six and seven member ring and uh, angle strain get relieved after ring expansion and normally it gives lower yield for other way and the, it is schematically shown here this generous schematic representation of this tension of and you can see it here uh, the the ring contains ch2 in the range 2 to 4 uh, with the ethyl amine uh, treating with the nitrous acid it gives a ring expanded product that is the ch2 get inserted here that you can see here and uh, n2 is released and it form an alcohol cycloalkanol homolog right uh, coming to the mechanism me in the first step is the formation of uh, disodization or uh, formation of a zerk compound and which is obtained uh, by the disodization and the nitrous acid to equivalent of nitrous acid in the presence of acid uh, it form for first the hydronium and because uh, this lone pair on this oxygen can attack this proton take up this proton and it form hydronium and another molecules of molecule of uh, nitrous acid can attack this nitrogen by expelling this hyd hydronium that is uh, water and it form n2o3 this is n2o3 and uh, the next step is the nucleophilic addition and uh, this is uh, amine is a nucleophile connectors and nucleophile this can add to this nitrogen by expelling this no2 minus and this no2 minus can uh, at proton transfer take place from this nh2 plus and uh, one of this hydrogen will be transferred to this oxygen and it uh, it form hno2 that get released 
and it form a nitroso compound like this nitroso this is nitroso nitroso no this no is added to this nitrogen okay it can undergo an a ketoninolic type isomerism and it form double bond n then this proton can be added to this oxygen it form hydroxy compound and this is on further protonation and you can see this lone pair on this oxygen can attack further this proton then it form an hydronium ion and this lone pair can push this hydronium as shown here by expelling water and it form an azo compound diastatized product will be obtained this is the first step and in second step a ring expansion take place by expelling this nitro compound n2 and uh, it form a carbocation and this carbocation uh, a carbon carbon migration take place from this carbon to this carbon a ring expansion take place and it form a positive charge here that you can see cyclopen uh, pendyl uh, carb carbocation will be formed and nucleophile water in the system can attack this carbocation and it form cyclohexanone so sorry cyclopendanone and at the second uh, possibility is water can uh, substitute this uh, n2 compound and it form a substituted product without expansion that is another possibility so this is a this are the mechanism of tensional rearrangement next one is tifano tensional rearrangement is a variation of tensional rearrangement so let us see what is the difference between tensional and tifano tensional only the difference is we are starting material our starting material is cyclic beta amino alcohol so this is important we are using tifano tensional we are using additionally a hydroxy compound and in previous case only we were only used this starter material but in this case we are using beta amino alcohol that is hydroxy compound so with the nitrous acid uh, what happened is uh, you get a different product from tensional we, in tensional we were obtained uh, alcohol but here we are getting a cyclic ketone so reaction is best applied for four to eight member ring and the first example is this compound this is a five member ring beta amino alcohol it undergo a ring expansion to give cyclohexanone and second example is is another beta amino alcohol with a six member ring okay cyclohexane and it form an expanded product cycloheptanone and uh, by releasing nitrogen and water okay uh, what is the mechanism of this tiffen tiffena tension of rearrangement first step is the formation of uh, azo compound that is diastatization station the mechanism already we have discussed in tension of so i am not repeating it again and here this is the beta amino uh, alcohol with the nitrous acid with the several steps you get this amine group get diastatized and it form ch2 and triple bond n and uh, uh, a diazonium ion will be formed and what is next the removal of this diazonium ion take place so there, there is an, an uh, loss of nitrogen and a rearrangement one to by one to shift and it give a conjugate acid of final product and here uh, a ring expansion take place and uh, for this nitrogen get expelled and a carbocation will be formed and a ring in this carbon migrate to this carbon and after breaking this bond this carbon get positive charge so a ring expanded product that is a cyclohexane we are using it becomes cycloheptane and uh, this carbon uh, were hydroxyl group attached is positively charged 
and actually this is a, a, a we can write a resonance structure of this compound like this a double bonded form and protonated form and can be written and the next step is actually this is a structure double bonded form this proton will be taken away by the nucleophile water and it form cycloheptanol okay that is a mechanism of stiffen up tension of rearrangement and here i am giving two more example for tiffen up tension of rearrangement in this first example this is a beta amino alcohol with a nitrous acid that is sodium nitrate and acid i used this acidic acid and at 0 degree celsius you get an expanded product actually what happens here is first step is the formation of diazo compound it become diazotized n triple bond n and then that n triple bond n get expand uh, so expelled and what happens is a ring expansion take place so this carbon migrate to this carbon and what happens is uh, then a positive charge will be formed here then finally it become double bonded and that you can see here this structure is same in the product that is that you can see it here the same product and this part is also same in the product that you can identify so the expansion take place here uh, you can see it here single bond that single bond you can see it here and the cyclo uh, ketone cyclic ketone you can see it in second carbon and there is an another carbon that is uh, this carbon that you can identify here and uh, this carbon is bonded to this uh, bridge that you can see here and the second example this is beta amino alcohol and with the uh, first what happens is uh, diazotization take place and uh, it expel this n2 and uh, this is positively car charged carbon atom that is carbocation this will be the carbocation and it can undergo next uh, ring expansion and here two types of product you can see it here one products first product this is obtained after the migration of this carbon to here okay this carbon to here and this is cyclohexane hexane compound this is cycloheptane that is a, a ring expanded product and you can see here this carbon is a cyclic ketone become ketone and you have a one carbon two car two carbon in between this the attached si me3 and that you can see here two carbons are here in the product that is this and this carbon okay and when this compound get migrated and you get this product so here you have only one carbon that is this carbon okay so two types of product you will be obtained this is the major one and in summary uh re rearrangement reaction and our interesting class of reaction where in group or atom might get migrated during the course of reaction and carbocation one to rearrangement involves sometimes hydrogen or alkyl group and uh, usually rearrangement occurs to electron deficient carbon or or electron deficient nitrogen and in terms of it's a carbocation rearrangement of primary amine by disodization it gives alcohol through carbon carbon migration in tiffenyl tension of it is a reaction of cyclic beta amino alcohol with a nitrous acid and it gives ring expanded ketone that's all about this topic thank you for watching